Alright. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I made... Oh, wait. Hi. So, I made a tier list where basically it's every single buff food that's in the game of Sturdy Valley. Also, editing tree in here, just wanted to say there are some pretty obvious 1.5 spoilers here. So if you haven't played the 1.5 update yet and plan to, I would not recommend watching this video and I would recommend that you click off now. That is all. And I had this idea for a while now. I have another thing pulled up right here, which is every single like recipe for it so I know if it's good or anything but uh, before we get into this I'm just gonna do a couple obvious ones yeah we all know those were going in there <laughs> okay anyway first one autumn's bounty it gives plus two foraging and plus two defense it is made with a yam and a pumpkin and you get it through Demetrius when you're seven plus hearts with him plus two foraging plus two defense honestly yam and a pumpkin that isn't terrible but the thing is you get it through the community set you get like three of them i feel like you'd only eat the three of those like for your first couple mind trips and that's it it is still kind of cheap but you still have to get demetrius up a couple hearts i think that's i think that's gonna be in can't be bothered or c and you shut up all right banana pudding uh it's made with a banana a milk and a sugar Gives plus one mining, plus one luck, and plus one defense. And the recipe is from the island trader for 30 bone fragments. Honestly, this might be good, like, later after you've gotten a nice steady supply of bananas. But to start out, don't make this. It's a waste. Not only are the bone fragments useful for other things, but so are the bananas. They're so good for, like, other stuff. Plus, you can get, like, mining and defense from other stuff. The luck is nice, I guess, but spicy eel exists. So does magic rock candy. I'm gonna say don't cook these, actually. Alright. What is this? Bean Hot Pot. From Clint. You get the recipe from Clint when you have 7 plus hearts with him. Once again, these buff foods that you get, like, the recipes for really later on, these aren't too good. Even though this is made with 2 green beans, like, getting Clint to, t to 7 hearts to be able to do this, uh, make this... For only plus 30 max energy and 32 magnetism. I mean, actually, for how cheap it is, it might not be too bad if you're going for, like, you know, an ore run, actually. Eh. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll put it in B. I'll put it in B. That's pretty decent, I'd say. Chowder. Willy male, three hearts plus. Gives plus one fishing for a clam and a milk. I'm gonna say don't cook this. It's not worth it. You can use clams for other things like warp totems and other stuff. Plus, uh, let's just go with trout soup. Where did I put that? Trout soup. So trout soup, uh, you don't want to actually make this because it's a rainbow trout and that's expensive as hell. But it is like you can buy it from Willy. It's a really good early game and it only costs 250 G from him. You give us plus one fishing and 100 energy. So not only is it just like really good early game for fishing, but gives 100 energy and 45 health, which is kind of good. Not gonna lie. Next one up. Can't find it. Complete breakfast from the Queen of Sauce, 21st of Spring, Year 2. So a lot of the Year 2 recipes, I don't usually like to speedrun because they just aren't fun. No one wants to watch me sleep for a year. But to be honest, a fried egg, a milk, a hash browns, and a thing of pancakes, only for two farming? Don't cook that. That's a waste. That's such a waste. Only, you know, on, only get that for perfection. Like, genuinely, that's such a waste. Alright, crab cakes. S. Actual cooking recipe is not really that easy, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, it takes a crab, a wheat flour, and a, actually, that's not too bad. A crab, wheat flour, egg, and oil. And it isn't terrible. Uh, the recipe is from the Queen of Sauce, 21st of Fall Year 2. But it gives a speed and a defense, plus... You can get them from the crabs in the skull caverns. That is really good. That is really good. Definitely has saved some of my skull cavern runs. Cranberry sauce. Gus, male, seven hearts plus. Gives plus two mining and only requires cranberries and sugar. It sells for 120 G. It only lasts for three minutes and 30 seconds. Once again, like only cook that for perfection, I'd say. I'm just gonna change that to only perfection to the banana pudding. You know, actually, I'm just gonna get rid of this tier. Like, this will be the don't cook these. Basically, it, you only want to cook them for perfect for perfection. What is this one? I haven't I haven't like ever seen this one. What? Crispy bass, largemouth bass, wheat flour, oil, magnetism plus 64. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that needs any other explaining. 
Dish of the Sea requires hash browns, two sardines. You get this from fishing level three and you get plus three fishing from it. So this obviously isn't as good as seafoam pudding, but considering it only requires hash browns and sardines, which are the easiest fish to catch in the ocean, and it lasts for five minutes too, and you get it at fishing level three, I'd say that's, you know, uh, probably better than average. I'd say it's probably better than average. Eggplant Parmesan. I didn't actually realize this was vegan. So the thing is, it says it's tangy, cheesy, and wonderful. It takes an eggplant and a tomato. Where's the cheat? How are you getting the sus? Anyway, it gives plus one mining and plus three defense. I should probably be actually like talking into my mic. Plus one mining and plus three defense. And you get it from Lewis when you have seven hearts plus with him. The defense honestly might not be too terrible, but I'd probably put it in C. It, it's kind of cheap, but once again, getting Lewis to that amount of hearts. Not the best. Escargot. Snail. Garlic. Plus two fishing. I mean, it lasts for the whole day, I guess. So if you're just going for like basic fish, it's decent, but you only get it from Willie after you've gotten five hearts with him. To be honest, Willie, if you give him like a really good, a really loved gift on his birthday, he's not terrible to get hearts with, or just in general. But at the same time, I'd still say eh, it's better than average. Farmer's Lunch. So this one actually isn't bad, like at all, really. It only takes a parsnip and an omelet, and an omelet requires an egg and a milk. So that's a little pricey, but the thing is, an egg and a milk, once you get into the later parts of the game, that's pretty easy to get. Plus it gives plus three farming, and you only need farming level three to unlock it. I'd say that's actually okay. Yeah. Fish stew. Crayfish, mussel, and periwinkle, and a tomato. Plus three fishing, lasts for the whole day. It's from Willy when you have seven plus hearts with him. Perfection only. Those random fish are, I swear, I, I don't know. This this is such a weird recipe. I just say it isn't worth it though. Fish taco. Whenever I saw this recipe, I always thought like how weird that would be. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of my dislike of fish. But anyway, it requires a tuna, a tortilla, a red cabbage, and a thing of mayonnaise. It gives plus two fishing, and it's from Linus when you have seven plus hearts with him. Only lasts for seven minutes. Honestly, 165 energy and 75 health. And sorry, Linus, you're gonna have to do better than that, bud. Fried eel from George when you have three or more hearts with him. Gives plus one luck for seven minutes. Requires an eel and an oil. Honestly, for how difficult eels are to catch, at least for me, for only plus one luck when something like spicy eel exists, that's like so much easier to get. I'd say spicy or this just... Whack that in perfection only. Fried Mushroom. Demetrius, when you have three plus hearts with him, gives you two attack and requires an oil, common mushroom, and a moral. Lasts for seven minutes. Uh, a lot of these, a lot of these just aren't really that useful. I mean, plus two attack isn't terrible, I guess? I'd say it's better than average, but actually no, no. It can't be bothered, which is C. Ginger Ale. Only requires three ginger and a sugar. Gives plus one luck for five minutes and it's bought from the dwarf shop in Volcano, in the Volcano on Ginger Island for 1000G. Honestly, for, if you're not using the triple shot espresso for some reason, this could be a good second alternative because it gives plus one luck and it can be stacked with spicy eel or crab cakes or magic rock candy. So I didn't realize hash browns gave a buff. Only costs a potato and an oil and the recipe can be bought from the Stardrop Saloon at for 50 G gives plus one farming for five minutes and 35 seconds. I'd say I'd say it's better than average. Yeah. Lobster bisque requires a lobster milk gives plus 50 max energy and three fishing for the whole day, but you can only get it through either the 14th of winter year two from the queen of sauce or from Willie when you have nine plus hearts from him. Uh, I mean, the lobster's a little expensive. I can't lie, but it's not too bad. Plus it's the whole day. So like it's, it's actually okay. It's not terrible. Lucky lunch. Okay. Lucky Lunch is insane, but the thing is, it requires a sea cucumber, a tortilla, and a blue jazz, and you can only get it, the recipe I mean, from the 20, from the Queen of Sauce on the 28th of Spring Year 2, but it gives plus 3 luck, which is insane. It's okay, it's A. It's an A, I'd say. Like, it's not an S. I would put it in an S if it was a little, little easier to craft, but it isn't, so. Is this a sticky rice? I think it is.
Mango sticky rice. So it requires a mango, a coconut, and rice. And it's from Leo after you have seven or more hearts with him. Gives plus three defense for five minutes and one second for some reason. Mangoes are really easy to come by if you know what you're doing. Into the later stages of the game, you're not going to be needing defense that much. It's, it's, it's probably a can't be bothered. Like, you can craft it. You can cook it if you want to. Maple bar, maple bar, maple bar. So maple bar actually is not that bad of a thing. Wow. It's basically a jack of all trades. Requiring only maple sugar, maple syrup, sugar, and wheat flour. And of course, the Queen of Sauce, 14th of Summer Year 2. For standard experience, if you've been watching my short content. Gives plus one farming, plus one fishing, and plus one mining. So, essentially, and it lasts for the whole day. Better than average, it's not bad. So, Miner's Treat. Only taking two cave carrots, a sugar, and a milk. And you unlock it through mining level three. Gives plus three mining and plus 32 magnetism. Actually, not that bad. It's actually, it's okay. It's, well, no, I'd say it's better than average. It's better than average because, I mean, the milk is a little annoying, especially, I'm just gonna cut that part out. Pancakes. Pancakes only require wheat flour and an egg. You can buy the recipe from the Star Drop Saloon. It was plus two foraging for almost the whole day, actually. You could use this, go around the map, chop down all the trees, get as much forage as you can, I guess. Better than average. So, pepper poppers? Pepper poppers? You can get from Shane in the mail after you've, like, befriended him. He just sends you these sometimes. And it gives plus two farming and plus one speed, which is insane for early game uh, crop harvesting. Like, actually insane. Not to mention it only requires a hot pepper and a cheese. Plus, he sends you the recipe after you've gotten three hearts with him. This is like actually, I would put it in S, but S is for like only the really good items that you want to be using pretty much every chance you can. Pumpkin soup. You get it from Robin in the mail, seven hearts or more. Gives plus two defense and plus two luck for a pumpkin and a milk. I mean, this would, this would be good for like a mines run, I guess. But the thing is you have to get, you have to get Robin up to seven hearts. I'd say it's actually okay. Well, no, I'd put it in better than average. What is this next one? I feel like this is a 1.5 item. Nope, it's not. Red plate. Red cabbage, radish, max energy plus 50. We know where that one's going. <laughs> Roots platter. Okay, I was saving this one. This one's actually really good. Only requiring winter root and a cave carrot, giving plus three attack. I'm gonna put this one wherever fried mushroom is, I'm gonna put this one at actually okay, because it's good for like early mines adventuring. Especially if you have if you've been cursed with a bad weapon curse. Pretty decent. Seafoam pudding. From fishing level nine, you need a flounder, a midnight carp, and a squid ink. All of these are really rare. Or not the flounder, I guess. Or the midnight carp. The squid ink only, really. And it only lasts for 3 minutes and 30 seconds, wow. But this gives the most fishing, like the best fishing buff out of any fishing item. And for that, I'm gonna put it on better than average. It would have been on can't be bothered if it was like fishing plus 3 or plus 2. But since it has the most, I'm just gonna put it at better than average. Shrimp cocktail. I only see people making this for perfection, seeing as how it, you can only get it on the 28th of winter year two. And I've seen a lot of perfection speedruns and their run on this. It requires a tomato, a shrimp, and a wild horseradish, giving plus one fishing and plus one luck as well. I'm... like, you can make it if you want to, I guess, but I, I wouldn't say it's perfection only. Squid ink ravioli. Another squid ink thing. But the thing is, this has its own unique buff. The Squid Ink Ravioli buff makes you immune to other debuffs for 3 minutes. And it requires a Squid Ink, a Wheat Flour, and a Tomato. And for that, I think I'm actually... Well... You see, the thing is, that's a difficult one. Because Squid Ink Ravioli buff isn't actually terrible. But the thing is, you have to get to combat level 9 to be able to even craft it. Or cook it, I mean. Uh, it only gives plus one mining. I'm gonna put this in perfection only. That's not... It's not that good. Stuffing. Requires bread, cranberries, and a hazelnut from Pam when you have seven or more hearts with her. But only gives plus two defense. Once again, for the heart count, that's not worth it. 
Super meal. From Kent, when you have seven plus hearts with him, requires bok choy, cranberries, and artichoke. Honestly, anything that gives you a speed buff, but it also gives you max energy. Anything that gives you a speed buff, I'm really tempted to just put in actually okay, but like, eh. Uh, this one's kind of expensive. And for what? Just one speed and more energy? I mean, I guess it's good for running around. I'm gonna put it in C. Survival burger. This is like one of the quickest recipes that you unlock. Like, I always see myself unlocking this pretty much, maybe even on like the fifth day if I'm min-maxing. Maybe even before that. Gives plus three foraging, and you unlock it at foraging level two. Requires bread, a cave carrot, and an eggplant. So that's the thing. You can only craft this after you've gotten to fall, or you've gotten to the traveling card for some reason. And for plus three foraging, I'm gonna say there's better recipes out there for foraging. Tom Ka Soup. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Tom Ka Soup. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. You get it from Sandy after you've gotten seven or more hearts with her. Plus two farming and 30 energy. All the things that give plus max energy, I don't I don't know. I feel like they're kind of useless. Like, I would have rather had, I don't know, plus one fishing, maybe? You know, farm a little bit, and then with the rest of the buff, you go fish for a little bit. But no, it's just max energy. Like, you don't really need energy to farm, especially if you have sprinklers. This requires a coconut, a shrimp, and a common mushroom. I'm gonna actually put that one in perfection only, really. All right, last one. Once again, this may not be all of the buff items, but I tried to get as many as I could. I'm sorry if I missed out on any of them. If I did, I will update the list, but this is just my opinion also. If you think something should go in S, I'm gonna leave the link to the list in the description below so you can do it for yourself. And I'll see make a video about it, who knows? Anyway, tropical curry, coconut, pineapple, hot pepper from the Ginger Island Resort for 2000 G from Gus. So that's kind <clears> of <throat> late into the game because you know, you have to have Ginger Island unlocked. You have to get the Gus. You have to get the Gus unlocked. You have to get the resort unlocked and you have to get Gus to go to get plus four foraging or a pineapple, coconut and a hot pepper. Does that give the most foraging out of everything here? Yes, it actually does. I mean, but what does plus foraging even do? Just make you lose less energy? I'd say only make that for perfection actually. And there you go. There's my full list of every buff food that I could find on the Stardew Wiki. This is my opinion. If you want to like add anything or do anything, tell me in the comments. I'll add it to the list later. Anyway, leave a like, subscribe if you want to, I guess. I'll see you in the next video, maybe. I always spend so long just editing these videos together because I don't know why. I love making short content. I can't say that for longer actual video content, but we'll see. Also, follow me on Twitter. This is free plug. Okay, bye.